Welcome to our last night of camp meeting. Are you glad to be here? Have you all been having, a, how many of you have been here, say most of the week? So, all right, so you guys have seen how good God has been. So welcome to the rest of you. I, I just really feel like tonight, Charlie's just going to, you know, God often saves the best for last, right? It's not that the rest of it hasn't been just tremendous, but sometimes there's just a little bit of rumble at the end, and it's called accumulation, and things start to accumulate, and then you just have a big explosion in God. Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm going to uh, start out tonight reading Psalm 100 from the uh, translation that they do read in heaven called the Passion Translation. God is our creator, and now we belong to him. We are the people of his pleasure, so come right into his presence with thanksgiving. You can pass through his open gates with the password of praise. <laughs> Come bring your thanksgiving offering to him and affectionately bless his beautiful name. Wow. For the Lord is always good and ready to receive you. Ready to receive you. He's so loving that it will amaze you. So kind that it will astound you. And he is so famous for his faithfulness to all. Everyone knows our God can be trusted. Keeping his promises to every generation. Amen. Let's stand up tonight. Let's thank Steve for an amazing week. An amazing week. And Eddie and Daniel, the team, Eddie and Daniel have been so faithful in this house, playing music for these 18 months. So, Father, we just, why don't you grab the hand of somebody next to you? It's really good to connect. <clears throat> Father, we just take you by your word tonight. And we thank you that you receive us tonight. So we come with thanksgiving in our hearts. We come with praise in our hearts and on our lips tonight. We come before the living God who can always be trusted, who is always faithful, who is always good, who is always our help. We lift our eyes up tonight. We lift our eyes up, Father to where you are and we just say thank you thank you thank you father for all that you've done we honor your presence in the house tonight we honor your person in the house tonight we honor your moving amongst us as your people tonight we thank you father for just a release from heaven tonight we come into agreement with heaven tonight and we say on earth as it is in heaven we thank you, Father, for heavenly things tonight, for heavenly experiences tonight, for heavenly understanding, heavenly revelation tonight. We thank you that the eyes of our heart are, have been opened by the Spirit of God and that we are here to see the wisdom and the revelation of who you are. God, we thank you for the one on our left and our right, and we bless them. We bless yeah. them with life and goodness and health peace and joy the kingdom of god the kingdom of god we declare in the house tonight we declare the kingdom of god is here we thank you lord we just say jesus you are lord jesus you are lord in this yeah. room. jesus you are lord in this place you are lord jesus we welcome the king of glory tonight we welcome the king of glory tonight we welcome you, Lord. We welcome you. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Wow. Yeah. Can we do something tonight? Let's just uh, let's just begin to sing in the spirit. Let's start out that way. Just by just activating a spirit, just by singing in the spirit. Here's your key. This is the key we're in. Key of E, if you're wondering. And we're just going to sing in the spirit here. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, Jesus. Oh, wait a minute. I want to um, invite you. If you're a dancer, a twirler, a hopper, a skipper, a jumper, come up here tonight. Come up here tonight. Calling all twirlers. Yeah. <laughs> because the new wine is found in the cluster. 
in the cluster, right? So you're just welcome yeah. to come up here and just dance your little heart out. That's good. All right. Let's do that. Let's do this now. All right, here's your key. Come on. I want you to just really press past the flesh. <laughs> right now, the flesh is going to say, well, this is, it, we're just starting out and I'm going to feel uncomfortable doing this. I want you to go past that. Come on, he wants you to go past that. He wants you to go in the spirit. We prepare our hearts. That's it. Get it
bless him. Come on and praise his name. Come on, come on and bless him. Come on, come on and bless him. Come on and praise his name. Come on, come on and bless him. Come on, come on and bless him. Come on and praise his name. Come on, come on and bless him. Come on, come on and bless him. When I move my body, when I move my feet, when I open my mouth, when I move my body, when I move my feet, when I open my mouth, when I move my body, when I move my feet, when I open my mouth, then the darkness flees. When I move my body, when I move my feet, when I open my mouth, oh, worship is my warfare. Is a weapon. Worship is my warfare. My dance is a weapon. Worship is my warfare. My praise is a weapon. Worship is my warfare. My shout is a weapon. My shout is a weapon. My shout.
praised and his greatness is unsearchable oh yeah Lord, we celebrate your greatness Yeah. 
listen and hear heaven echo what you're singing. Seems like all of heaven is joining with us tonight. It's almost like they're saying, ooh, we like what we hear. And the cloud of witnesses are cheering us on tonight. Saying good on you, good on you, sing it out. from your heart tonight the praise that comes from your spirit it's almost as if I can see the father taking a big breath of your praise going ah I smell a sad I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. I got a feeling this night's gonna be a good, good night. Cause what you sow, you will reap. What you've been sowing, you will reap. You've been sowing into the glory atmosphere. to read tonight are you ready to be overcome by his love once again in this atmosphere here so once again could you lift up your song of the spirit we're going to do this a few times tonight we're going to pause just to sing from the spirit tonight Wow. 
You've always been so faithful to me. You always do what you say you're going to do. And I really, 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 really love that about you. Others may say something, and others may say something else, but your word remains true day after day after day after day. You're not a man that you could lie.
Running out of fingers and toes. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 Lord, nobody loves us like you do. Nobody loves us.
crazy about me and you too. me really, really, really good. Come on, how many, how many of you been here all week? So you know what I'm talking about. Wow, wow. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let the king of my heart be the mountain where
be the mountain. Be the mountain where I run. The fountain I drink from. The warrior's my soul. Let the king of my heart be the shine.
the Lord. Look at the other person that you said, I don't know. I don't know what you uh, came to do. Uh, Y'all came to do. But I uh, I came here in this place to declare his grace. Yeah, I will, I will, I will praise him. Come on. Breakthrough, you're right on the verge, right on the verge, right on the verge of a breakthrough. Right on the verge, right on the verge, right on the verge of a breakthrough. I don't know about you, I don't know about you. I'm pressing in, I'm gonna get my breakthrough. I'm gonna get my breakthrough. Gonna get my breakthrough. Gonna get my breakthrough. One, two, three. I will, I will. Praise the Lord tonight. Praise the Lord tonight. Oh. 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 Holy Spirit, come and sit on us tonight. Holy Spirit, come and sit on us tonight. We surrender, we surrender, we say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come and sit on me. Come and sit on my brother sitting next to me. Come and sit on the sister in the fourth row. Come on. Holy Spirit, we honor your presence tonight. We honor your playfulness. Your word says that only if we can come like a child, that access is given to the children. So we come tonight with childlike faith, with childlike expectancy. <laughs> Knowing that when we come before our daddy and we say we're thirsty, when we say that we're hungry, you're faithful to come and feed us. You're faithful to come and give us drink. And we say tonight we're hungry, Lord. We declare we're thirsty, Lord. We want more of you, oh Lord. We want more of you. More of you. More of you. Wherever you're at tonight, God can come and meet with you. From the most sinful of sinners to the most righteous of righteous. You ain't no match for him. You think that you're here by accident tonight, but it, it ain't by no accident tonight. You've been summoned by the Lord tonight. God loves you tonight. And he brought you here. He sat you down. He's positioned you and postured you for such a time as this. 
And regardless if you think you're hungry or not, your spirit is thirsty tonight. Your spirit is thirsty, not for just some water that will temporarily satisfy you, but your, your spirit is thirsty for the kind of living water that will absolutely satisfy every part of you. Tonight is a holy night, a night ordained of the Lord. Tonight is a night of visitation. Tonight is a night of heavenly encounter. Tonight is a night where God's going to show up and show off within your crisis, within your pain, within those parts of your heart that you thought that the Lord could never come into. He's going to come into your heart tonight. He's going to introduce himself to you tonight as a kind and gracious father who's not mad at you, but has been waiting for you to respond to his love, to respond to his grace. Would you just pray with me? Just say, Father, I need you tonight. I don't even know what to ask for tonight. But I know I need you. I know I need a dad. So I give you permission to come and have your way tonight. Not just in a building, but come and have your way in my heart, in my mind, my will and my emotions. Oh, I don't need to understand everything. I don't need to know why stuff is happening. I just want an encounter with you tonight, God. So I choose not to be distracted. I close my eyes even now so that this room could disappear so that you can appear thank you Lord that you have something precious in store for me tonight give me the humility and the courage to respond to you tonight in Jesus name everyone in agreement said amen 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 God bless you as you find your seat go ahead and give, some, go ahead and give like three people a high five and say get ready get ready for a special night Three people, just give a high five. Say, get ready for a special night tonight. It's going to be a special night tonight in the glory. Come on. Oh. You made it. Last night of Awakening and Harvest, Summer Camp Meeting 2017. Have you enjoyed yourself this week? I tell you, it's, it's been a special week. It's been, a, it's been an unprecedented week for our team here and for this church. So um, how many of you actually, this is actually your first night as part of Camp Meeting. Wave at me. Oh, look at all, look at all y'all, oh, come on. Well, welcome to Seattle Revival Center. And, hey, you picked a great night. You picked a great night. If you haven't noticed yet, you, 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 picked, you, picked, you picked a good one, all right? Um, so it's great to have you. Hey, um, uh, let's, just, let's just give a big thank you to the incredible Steve Swanson for leading us into worship this whole, this whole week. It's just been, just been amazing. And the, um, and the SRC worship team, come on, Daniel and Eddie, you guys have been incredible. Just absolutely phenomenal. Come on. Come on. I mean, if nothing else, we've, we've gathered 14 times over seven days to worship the Lord, and just to declare who He is, and wow. just to enjoy His presence. If, if, if that was it, that would be enough. Amen? 
Amen? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, hey, um, tonight we're, we're, going to, we're, going to, we're going to do this thing, and we're going to, uh, we're going to be uh, sowing into uh, tonight and into uh, what God's doing here in the region. And to, um, and to receive the offering, I would like to um, introduce to you <laughs> Pastor, well, he's a pastor and elder in this house. And the overseer of International Fellowship of Ministries. Would you welcome Pastor Greg Daly tonight? Come on. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Feel free? I'm free. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. Liberty. So, um,. As Jaron was mentioning, I happen to be the overseer, general overseer, or president of the International Fellowship of Ministries, which has um, works in 38 states and 28 countries. We have ministries and ministers and, and people who just love God and, and are serving God, doing wonderful things. And so um, we generally have a gathering in September, and the last couple of years we've had it in, in like down below actually a SRC and uh, it's been awesome just getting together for fellowship because we really stress fellowship you know it's not just fellowship and, and getting together and so but this year I felt like the Lord say um, he wanted us to focus on harvest and uh, yeah <laughs> and so so anyway um, uh, I had uh, I just was praying about it and then you know he'd like to come up with a theme or something that would be a draw and, and uh, I had this aha moment uh huh, A H A, and uh, which was awaken to heaven's agenda. No, advancing heaven's agenda, awakening there, advancing heaven's agenda. And so, uh, we're blessed to have Chris Overstreet. How many know Chris Overstreet from Bethel? Yeah, he's gonna be here, and uh, and another amazing preacher, Darren Stott's gonna be there. Yeah, and Jason Himmelberg of uh, uh, Revolution Church going to be there speaking and, and um, I'll show up and do something. But um, so anyway, that's September 17th, 18th, 19th, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No registration, just come. So come and, uh, and, and just get filled up. We're gonna, it's going to be awesome. Okay, so all of you are invited. You don't have to be a member to come or part of IFM. Just come. All right? Yeah. The date, September 17th, 18th. 7th, 8th, and 9th. Correction. See, you see, this is why we have administrators in the church. September 7th, 8th, and 9th. Thank you. And if you're watching online, don't show up the following week. It's going to be good. Hey, listen, how many of you have awakened, had had an awakening this week? Really? An awakening? Come on. You had, uh, oh, on the inside, something's changed. I mean, you came in at, at, on Sunday night, maybe, or Monday night, but now it's, something's changed. Maybe you could only get out one night, but something has changed. And you know, it's all Jesus. It's all about Jesus. He's a great change agent, and he comes into our lives, and he just changes us. Makes us into something new, better, radical. I, one of my favorite verses is Acts 10.38. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil because God was with him. And when I read that one day, I realized, you know what? Why don't I say how God anointed Greg of Kent? Come on. Because see, Jesus said, the works that I do shall you do also and greater works. Why? Because the Holy Ghost who came upon Jesus has come upon me and you. So could we say that tonight? Just say your name and where you're from. How God anointed of, come on, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil, for God was with them, filled with the Holy Ghost. You say, well, all, well, maybe not yet, but that's the standard and that's where we're going. Can we put it up there and go for it? You may not get all the way. You might only get one quarter, one third, or three quarter. That's what John G. Lake said, you know. He said, put it up there and go for it. Because you might, you might make it with passion and zeal. Hey, listen. Here's some folks. There's three women here who had an encounter with Jesus just like you guys. 
in Luke 8, 1 to 3. Soon afterward, Jesus began a tour of the nearby towns and villages, preaching and announcing the good news about the kingdom of God. And that's what we're doing. We're announcing good news about the kingdom. He took his 12 disciples with him, along with some women he had healed, from whom he had cast out evil spirits. Among them was Mary Magdalene, of whom he had cast out seven demons, Joanna, the wife of Cusa, Herod's business manager, Susanna, and many others who were contributing their own resources to support Jesus and his disciples. These ladies got touched by Jesus, awakening on the inside and awakened to the harvest and wanted to give into what God was doing. And that's an awesome example. These people noticed they had an encounter with God and they became generous. People who have an encounter with God, the nature of God is imparted to them, the love of God is awakened in them, and faith of God is released. Praise the Lord. That's what happens. And so tonight, let's partner. You know, you say, well, I, I gave uh, Monday <laughs> or Tuesday. You know, I'm always challenged in giving. I tell you, it, a Sunday happened. We come to church on Sunday, and my wife goes, what do you want to give in the offering today? Because, you know, beyond your tithe. I said, well, how about 20? She goes, I was thinking 30. I said, I'm thinking 32. <laughs> and then, no kidding, the following week, I'll, she'll say, what do you want to write the check for today? Because she just always asks. And I said, how about 30? She says, I was thinking 50. I said, yeah, me too. <laughs> Such a liar. I mean, me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, 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 even as a leader, you, we need to get challenged in our giving. See, cast your bread, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 1. Keep on casting your bread upon a water, and it will return. See, sometimes we cast it once, and we're, wait, we're waiting at the... We're waiting at the beach for it to come back on the wave. Somebody comes by and says, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting for the return. Well, did you cast anything? Yeah, I did last week. Well, it says keep on casting. Yeah. See, I, see I, I, I've come to know that sowing and reaping is not a seasonal thing. It's not. Now, I'm not saying it's instant, but I'm saying as you continue to sow and continue to give and continue to sow and continue to give, it starts all of a sudden you start walking in the blessings of financial prosperity because you have been diligent. Add to your faith what? Diligence. Add to your giving diligence. Amen? Amen. So tonight we're going to receive an offering. Are you ready to give? Yeah. I think we have some instructions on the... There you go. You can text to give and you just text the amount. If you've never done that, once you do it, it gets set, it gets set up and you can just go on from there. And uh, if you're writing out a check, make it out to SRC. All right. Praise the Lord. Are you ready to give? Yeah. We're going to do this. So once you get your offering ready, I want you just to um, put it up before the Lord. And uh, we're going to decree, declare Deuteronomy 26. Because when the people brought their tithes and offerings to the Lord, the Lord commanded them. I said the Lord commanded the people to say to the Lord. God commanded them to say to the Lord... Look down from your holy habitation and bless your people. Isn't that awesome? I mean, he gives us permission to say to God, God, look down in the midst of this offering. Look down from your holy habitation and bless your people. It's awful quiet here. Did it, you guys, did this like go away over or something? <laughs> so good. It's so good. Amen. All right, stand up. Praise the Lord. Father, thank you for the generosity of your people. Lord, thank you for their faithfulness. Thank you for their love. And Lord, thank you as we give tonight. Father, we just declare what your word says to say. God, look down from your holy habitation and bless your people in Jesus' name. Go ahead and give. God bless you. <laughs> and now, Jeanette, would you welcome Jeanette as she comes? Thanks for the help, Steve. Oh. 
We did it. It's Saturday night. <laughs> still standing. Everybody's still smiling, right? Yeah, good. Okay, good. Okay, um, just a couple of things. Um, great to have lots of kids in the house tonight. Just love the energy, and they're so excited in the presence of the Lord. All we ask is that you keep them close by during service, and don't let them go out in the halls or out there by themselves. Go with them if, they, if you need to take them to the restroom or whatever, and um, just keep them by you. That would be great. Um, in the back, um, there's information about Supernatural School. We're coming up on the deadline for application for that. And um, there are... There's also a place to sign up email so you can um, get this great email I do every week. <laughs> that was dumb. All right. So uh, I just want to give you a heads up. You know, we're after this week, tomorrow morning, um, Charlie and, and Steve will both be ministering at church 10 o'clock. So if you don't have a church that you go to, come here and, uh, and celebrate again at 10 tomorrow morning. And, um, and then the Appawine Awakening is on, still on break. Uh, well, this hasn't been a break, but, you know, like on a break. <laughs> I'm going to be on a break. <laughs> so, um, and we'll be back after, um, we'll be joining in with IFM that weekend right after um, Labor Day weekend, right? And then I just want to give you a heads up. What's the date? 7, 8, and 9. Yes. I just happen to have my trusty calendar out because, you know, so I'm trying something new reading from my phone. Okay, so, and the week after that, we'll start up again. I'm not going to tell you the dates on everything, but I just want to tell you a few people that are going to be coming through because um, it's an exciting time and there's a lot of things happening in the kingdom. And um, so this is a direction we're going in. Um, we're going to have a conference with um, Justin Abraham, John Scotland, and Godfrey Bertel. That, that is like off the charts, and um, that weekend is actually Tom's birthday weekend, so he's pretty sure the party's for him, but you're all invited, okay? <laughs> so that's going to be great. And then we have Brent Loker coming, the Father's Heart guy, you know, right? He's, everybody know him? Raise your hand. Ever hear of him before? Okay, a few. So that'll be a good weekend to come out because he just brings an awesome revelation of the heart of the Father. And um, that's going to be a great weekend. We're going to have Michael Danforth back for a long weekend, some teaching and, and just great, uh, great stuff. And I just wanted to tell you a couple more. We're not bored, are we? Okay, good. Oh, dream interpretation. How many of you are like, I wonder what that dream meant? You know, or your friends are asking, I just had a dream. What does it mean? So we're going to have a weekend with um, T.J. Green and Luke, Luke, and I don't know how to say his last name. Nybral? Close? It, uh, awesome. It's going to be an awesome weekend. So if you've ever been curious or just want to have a better understanding about how God uses dreams in our life to bring direction or, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, I didn't drink enough before I got up here. Um <laughs> <laughs> that's what the, no, no, that's a serious problem. Okay, and Katie Seuss is going to be back, too. Okay? So, so listen, there, um, you can check on, on at Seattle Revival Center's website under Awakening, and you can get the, the whole Shamu's going to be up there, and most of it's up there already. So just do that to keep track and sign up for email so you'll get an update because uh, things are changing, right? And let's not forget, that after the first year, we're going to have a West Coast Rumble conference in January and in February we're going to have another declaration conference Patricia King and Bobby King of uh, Bobby and Patricia King and Bobby Connor have already committed to that so we're just believing God that this is we're just rolling as fast as we as we can keep up keep up with him Sorry. <laughs> hey you guys how many of you have had a really good time this week right yeah so uh, it, tonight's it, tonight yeah, tonight. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> it's going to be really good. Pastor Darren, what? What? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. You know what? I just, I just want to say that without, um, without help, we could, I could not possibly do it. I could only do this, oversee this, because so many people gave hours and hours and hours of time to work, to, to do food and to do hospitality and to clean every, after every meeting, most of them cleaning twice a day. So I just would like one more time that we give a big hand to everybody that helped. And you know who you are. Come on. Yep. Right? Great. Thank you so much, everybody. 
and all of the people of God said. So good, Jeanette. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, we're, we're definitely excited about the new season coming into the fall. Um, we're, we're, there's going to be some changes, as Jeanette said. Um, for example, uh, we're really excited to be partnering with Elizabeth Cooper to be hosting nights of worship and intercession. Um, and so we're going to be doing um, a whole night um, on a regular basis of, of prophetic worship and intercession um, without, without any other agenda except for just to, hope, to host the presence. And um, if, if you're not uh, familiar with Elizabeth, she's been helping us out for quite some time. Um, she doesn't exactly do um, songs that they put on a screen. Literally the whole thing is 100% pro prophetic and declarative from the beginning to the end. Um, and it's just, it's just wild. Um, there's just been this beautiful partnership um, and the beautiful relationship that's formed between um, uh, what, the move here and Elizabeth and Todd and that, and that whole crew. We're excited about that. We're also uh, excited about um, a, a regular School of the Spirit. Um, so we'll be doing a uh, night's worship intercession, a School of Spirit, a night of just revival where it's just words of knowledge, the prophetic, loosing our students. Um, so it's similar to the format that they're doing in San Diego with a once a month conference where people are actually flying in. So it's a little bit different. Instead of flying people in every single weekend, we're going to be running with School of the Spirit, Night of Worship and Intercession, and Revival Night, and then hosting a, 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 a conference um, uh, each month. Uh, which, it, which ex except for the, with the only exception to that is September. September is just going to be crazy with Christopher Street and just everyone coming. So September is going to be quite, quite a, quite a fall uh, kickoff. So um, we're we're highly optimistic about about the future of the Pacific Northwest and what God wants to do here. Um, we're not exactly panicking and moving out into the boonies with Top Ramen and Bud Light. We're really just, you know, we're we're really uh, we're in it to win it. Uh, uh, we just we just know that that God's got big things in his heart um, for this region. So if you know people that are panicking right now or, or who are partnering with fear and torment, um, it's time to just lay hands on them, to cast those ugly things out of them and to invite them into what God is doing on the earth because God is uh, moving on the earth right now. Um, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. So it's time to engage. Engage, right? Lift off, blast off, and all that good stuff. Um... Awesome. Well, I love you guys. You're in for a real treat. If you haven't met Charlie Champ before, this guy uh, is just so much fun. Um, I, I, when I introduced him, I think it was this morning, it all starts to blend together. You know, I said, Charlie's not just a friend of this house. Um, he's, a, he's a family member um, in, in this house. You know, he, he really, you know, when he, when he comes to Seattle Revival Center, he literally makes himself, you know, at, 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 at home. It's been so much fun running with this guy. Um, and it's been so much fun to see what he has stepped into. Um, uh, he's always been prophetic, but he's really stepped into a new level of the prophetic. And so uh, uh, Charlie and I were, speaking of the prophetic, Charlie and I were commenting this morning when the interns were giving prophetic words. He said, you know, 20 years ago, you, you did not see that. The only people giving prophetic words in a church service was, was, was the speaker, you know, was, was the person that you came to see. And isn't it incredible that you can come to these meetings and just see young people just operating in the prophetic as, as though it's just normal. Uh, I mean, so really, like, there's been so much change in, uh, within, the, within the bride of Christ where, where, the, where the people of God just feel comfortable with just encouraging one another uh, with the word of the Lord. Is, isn't that awesome? And I just want to applaud the, 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 the Elisha Revolution interns for just what you're pressing into. Um, I, I, especially, I especially appreciate it just the risk that you took, like you, you, you were getting specifics this morning, you're, you're, you're giving specific words, and, um, and I just really want to applaud that, you know, you didn't, you didn't play it safe, and that's, that's easy to do, because what if I get it wrong, but you really took a risk, and, 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 and I just honor you for that, for taking, for taking that risk, and, and, I, and when, you're, when you're going for it, just begin taking that risk, you know, um, when you're out doing life, you know, and, and just watch as God honors you as you step out in faith, but um, Speaking of the prophetic, it's, it's been amazing watching Charlie Champ um, uh, really step into this incredible place of, get, get, of, of getting words for specific nations when it comes to elections. Um, and and, and um, 
and he's been batting pretty good, actually. I mean, uh, when you, I mean, when you look at just some of these prophetic predictions, it's refreshing when people are getting it right. Amen. And how many know that that that's just, of course, that's just the Lord and that's just God's grace. But it's so it's so much fun doing life um, with 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 Charlie and seeing him step into this, step into a fuller manifestation of his prophet call. And so uh, tonight, I want you to join me in welcoming and honoring Prophet Charlie Shim tonight. Come on now. Come on, let's give it up for Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Well, tonight, if you're watching this online, tonight you're going to get very drunk. <laughs> oh, man. Just take your hands and just hold them out. Oh. Holy Spirit, I just ask you to fill every hand in this place with supernatural fire. Lord, we just pray tonight that you would just begin to fill people's hands with the fire of God. Lord, and I ask you to increase it in this place. Holy Spirit, we give you reign. We give you rulership. Holy Spirit, we ask you just to fill this space, fill this place with your presence and your glory. We ask you just to begin to fill people with your presence. I want you to take your hand that has fire on it and just put it on your neighbor right now. Just release the fire in this place tonight. Lord, we thank you for the fire of God being released across this place. Lord, we ask you to increase it right now. Come on, just give your just release it on your neighbor. Lord, I thank you for the cloven tongues of fire. I thank you for the fire, the fire, the fire, the fire, the fire, the fire, the fire being released in this place. safer up here I, I just lift your hands real high just lift your hands real high Lord fill every hand in this place with your fire 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 now just take your hand and put it back on your neighbor again <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
more Holy Spirit, more Holy Spirit, more, 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 more. Lord, I thank you for your fog in this place tonight. I thank you for your fog. This afternoon while I was praying and Steve was cooking awesome Chinese food, I got smelling in my room. I went into um, like a, a trance like kind of vision and I started seeing like, I, I not like, I saw a cloud, like a golden cloud. And I said, Lord, what is that? He said, that's my fog. <sighs> and the Lord said, stick your hand in the fog. <laughs> I said, what is it, Lord? He said, it's the fire, the oil, and the glory. The fire, the oil, and the glory. I want you to lift your hands tonight. Lord, I thank you for the fire, the oil, and the glory being released in this place. People that are watching online right now, I release the fire, the oil, and the glory into your home right now. Holy Spirit, I thank you for saturating people with the oil of God. I thank you for releasing the fire of your spirit. I thank you for releasing and saturating people in the cloud of glory. Now just take your hand and put it on your neighbor right now. Just, re just release it. Just release it. Just re I just release it over this whole section. Lord, I ask you to fill the section right now. Just, just more, 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 more. <laughs> floodgates of heaven <laughs> let it rain Ooh. let it rain <laughs> open the floodgates of heaven <laughs> oh. <laughs>
Somebody just needs to go for a dip in the river tonight, I'm telling you. Uh. Lift your hands again. I want to I want to decree this over you tonight. Zechariah 2, 5. That's what the Lord says. I myself will be encircled, encircling rampant fire, declares the Lord, and I will be the glory in the midst. Lord, I thank you for the encircling rampant fire. The encircling rampant fire. The encircling rampant fire around your people and the glory being in the midst of them. Lord, even tonight as they're lifting up their hands, Holy Spirit, I ask you to be a fire around them. I ask you to be a fire, a burning, rampant fire around them and a glory in the midst. Just open up your mouth and just take a drink right now. Just open. I got. I have a word, but I mean, what? What did you come out to see tonight? I, I don't know. Just open up your mouth and take a drink. God. Lord, we thank you for the rampant, encircling fire filling this place tonight. We thank you for the glory in the midst. We thank you for your glory being in the midst of us. We thank you for the glory being in the midst of us. Open up your mouth and just take a drink right now. Lord, we want the fog in this place. The heavy fire, oil, and glory. Lord, I'm asking you that tonight that there would be signs, there would be wonders, there would be manifestations of your glory. I thank you, God, that every person, any person that came in here depressed tonight leaves with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Lord, fill your people with your fire. Release the oil. Release the glory. Lord, let them see the cloud of your presence. Father, let there be a sprinkling. Let there be a downpour. Let there be a gushing forth of the rivers of God out of the throne of heaven. Lord, we thank you for the Daniel chapter 9, the river of fire flowing in this place out of the throne of heaven. Lord, we dip our barrels in the river of fire tonight and we take a drink of the fire of God. Whew. Just tip down and get a drink. Just take your barrel and just... If you've never been a part of a service like this, this is interactive preaching. This is...
interaction with the preacher. I like it. I, I like it when uh, when 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 people like talk back to me while I'm preaching. Look over at your neighbor and say, "Have a drink tonight." Oh yes. Look at your neighbor and say, "Oh yes." Somebody just said, when is, this serv- when, when is he going to start, like, ministering? When, it, when is he going to start, like, pre... This is it. This is, this is... This is it tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! When, when's he... When- When's he gonna? When's he gonna preach? I, I am. I'm doing it right now. Oh. Just reach up and fill that atmosphere. Just, Lord, we just thank you for this atmosphere tonight. We just thank you for just the rain of your presence, the rain of your glory, the rain of your presence, the rain of your glory, the rain of your presence. The rain, ha ha ha. Oh. Just keep coming more, Jesus. Just, ha <laughs> Just keep, ha <laughs> Oh. feel fire all up and down my back, my spine right now. Lord, you're just touching people right now in their spinal columns, their backs. Lord, I thank you for that, just that healing virtue of Jesus moving across this whole entire building right now. People with scoliosis, even the shrinking in their spine, Lord, I ask you to strengthen it, straighten it. Lord, I thank you for removing all pain in necks and backs. And Lord, I just thank you for strengthening the the back, straightening the entire spinal column right now by the power of God. I thank you for the fire 
fire of the Lord going down. The fire of the Lord going down. And Lord, I thank you for the lightnings of God moving through this meeting right now. I thank you for angels on assignment releasing the lightnings of God. And Holy Spirit, I thank you right now for touching people with scoliosis and their necks and their backs. Lord, I thank you for strengthening and straightening every crooked place. Every crooked place. Every crooked place. Make it straight. <laughs> Lord, make crooked limbs go straight. Make fingers that are crooked. Make them go straight tonight. Holy Spirit, I thank you right now. I thank you I'm like for the angels that are being activated in this room right now. Holy Spirit, I thank you for an open heaven. Holy Spirit, I thank you for Jacob's ladder. Angels ascending and descending in this place. Miracle giftings beginning to manifest in this house tonight. Lord, I thank you that you're handing out gifts to your servants. I thank you that you're handing out gifts to your children. I thank you that you're handing out gifts to your sons and your daughters in this place tonight. Lord, I thank you that they're ripping open the packaging. They're opening up the gifts tonight in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing literal angels walking in this place with gifts, with gifts, with gifts, with gifts, with gifts. Lord, release an impartation of the gifts, of the gifts, of the gifts. You're the giver of gifts, God. So release the gifts, the gifts, the gifts in this place. Lord, I thank you for the working of miracles tonight. Been an impartation for your servants, for your sons, for your daughters that are in this place tonight. The gift of working of miracles. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm making you lift your hands a lot, but really lift your hands right now. Just start receiving. Just, I, I just saw it, like angels coming in here and just delivering gifts. Some of you are getting an impartation right now. Just an impartation. A new dimension. New levels. New, new levels. Just new levels. New levels. New levels. You're watching me online right now? Just receive right now in your home. Right now, receive in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for an open heaven right in your home where the angels are ascending and descending. Holy Spirit, I thank you for visitation in people's homes tonight. Holy Spirit, I thank you for manifestation in people's homes tonight. Holy Spirit, I thank you that there's no distance in the realm of the Spirit, but you're going right through these airwaves, right through the internet, and you're touching people in the nations of the earth, every nation, every creed, every color, every tongue, every tribe around the earth. Earth. Lord, I thank you for the fire, the oil, and the glory touching them now. Oh. Oh. it right now just receive it right now just right where you're at just receive it right now right with this is uh, 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 uh. oh
Lord, tonight we're praying for visitation, habitation. We're praying for face-to-face -face encounters with Jesus tonight. Lord, we're praying for revelation. We're praying for impartation. We thank you that we will see you. Who? Jesus, we thank you that we will see you. Who? Just, just receive right now in this. I just, I kept seeing this golden cloud. This golden cloud. The fire, the oil, and the glory. Lord, I thank you that even signs and wonders are in this place tonight. Lord, I thank you for signs and wonders in this place. I thank you for the oil. Lord, I thank you for the oil coming upon your people tonight. Lord, let the oil come out of their hands, Lord, out of their feet, God. Let the oil begin to flow supernaturally. Father, I ask you in the mighty name of Jesus for signs and wonders. Lord, I thank you for the fire of God coming upon people's hands. Lord, from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet, Lord, let the fire begin to fall on them. Whew. Lord, I thank you for the oil. I thank you for the glory. I thank you for the gold tonight. Lord, let the gold come. Lord, let it come and let it come strongly in this place. Lord, I'm praying for a shower of blessing. Open up the windows in heaven and pour out such a blessing that we don't have room enough to receive it. Lord, I'm praying for supernatural blessing to fall in this place. Let the gold come in this place. Let the gold come in this place. Let the blessing come in people's bank accounts supernaturally. Father, I'm praying for the supernatural manifestation of miracle money in people's purses and their wallets and their bank accounts and their pockets. Let there be money that was not there. Let it begin to materialize. Let it begin to manifest. Holy Spirit, I thank you that you're the creator of all things. You can create the currency. You can put the series code on the currency you can register it in the bank God I thank you that you are the giver of all gifts Lord even as people have been sowing all this week Lord I pray for supernatural money miracles to materialize as a sign and a wonder of the abundance and the goodness of God Open up the storehouse, open up the barns, open up the double doors of blessing. Lord, I prophesy Isaiah 45 over your people. Lord, the double doors of blessing where they were like iron tonight. They are wide open. And Lord, I thank you that you're pouring out a blessing that there isn't even room enough to contain. Lord, I thank you that they'll have to get more barns, more bank accounts, more places to store. I don't know if this is for somebody here tonight that's in actually in the meeting or you're watching me online but the, I, I just feel the fire of God going down the left side of my body especially in my shoulder and my arm area I believe that there's somebody and uh, you suffered from a, like a, a, a stroke of some sort like a like I don't think it was a major stroke I think it was a minor I feel like it was a minor stroke but it was like actually left like the left side of your body, some um, stuff going on with it. And I just, I just see the Lord touching that right now. Just touching that right now. 
just touching that right now. If you're in the meeting, just run up here real quick. But if you're watching me online, Lord, I just release that right now. I thank you for miracle power touching your people in the mighty name of Jesus down through the left side of the body I thank you Lord for every every symptom every every part of that just leaving right now in the name of Jesus and full healing and restoration coming in Jesus mighty name Whew. wow thank you Lord Whew. Is that, is that somebody in, is actually in, here, in the meeting right now? If you're here, I want you to come up. If you, it's some kind of like, a, a, you had like a, a minor kind of stroke and it affected your left side. If that's you, I want you to come. Okay. Lord, I thank you right now for you releasing that. Release that right now in Jesus' name. Whew. Wow, it's so thick in here, I can't even feel my face. How many are feeling this right now? Oh, we'll just release it more right now. I had a vision this afternoon as well of a young girl, of a, ver of, of a young girl who was dealing with leukemia. And I saw this girl's face come before me. I don't know if there's somebody in here tonight and you have a family member. It's a, it's a, it was a young girl, like a little girl, who was dealing with leukemia. If that makes sense to you, I want you to, I want you to just to lift your hand and wave at me. It may be somebody online as well, but if it is, Glenn, will you please let me know? Because I, I, I saw this very vivid when I was praying this afternoon. A, a little girl who was dealing with leukemia, and I saw that. I, I didn't get her name. The Lord didn't tell me her name, but I saw her face come before me. And, and the Lord said, I'm healing this, this girl of leukemia. So, Father, I thank you right now for the healing power and the glory the fog of God, the fire, the oil, and the glory of the Lord being released right now for this little girl. Lord, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for your healing power flowing to this girl in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you. Whew. Lord, I thank you for your virtue just touching this girl right now. I thank you that you'll live and not die. We cancel the spirit of death. We break its authority. We release your hand tonight in Jesus' name. Over this girl. Hallelujah. Whew, man, I'm getting drunk. In the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. All right, huh? Praise you, Jesus. Is there anybody here tonight and you came here ex and you need a miracle in your body and you have something terminal with you? I don't want you to die in my meeting, so that's why I want to. <laughs> so if you came here tonight specifically for prayer, before I move on, I'm going to begin to minister, preach on something that God laid on my heart. But if you're here tonight and... 
and you need, you, you came here, you might be have diagnosed with cancer or something that's terminal, and you need a miracle, I want to pray for you right now while I'm just on, in this. What, what's going on, ma'am? Yeah, okay. When do you go back to the doctor? Monday? That's just... I want to agree. I want to believe with you. What's your name? Diane. Let's, let's agree together, huh? Hallelujah. The Bible says, if any two agree on anything, it shall be done for them. Right? Ooh, you feel that? I feel the presence of God really strong right now. Huh. Ooh. Take me by hand, Diane. Lord, in the name of Jesus, just stretch your hands towards her right now. you got your hand stretched and you pray in the spirit, just release that frequency of life right now. The Bible says where the spirit of unity is, God will command a blessing. And it, the oil, the Bible says, pours, pours off the spirit of unity. So, Father, tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you for the ooh, I thank you for the oil of unity in this place. I thank you that this is a sickness-free zone. Lord, I thank you that as it is in heaven, it is in this place. I thank you that as it is in heaven. It is in her body tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over cancer. Oh, we speak to you, cancer, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We command every cancer cell to leave this body by the power of God. Father, I thank you for supernatural miracle power flowing into Diane's body in the name of Jesus Christ. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet, I thank you for your glory. I thank you for your glory. I thank you for your glory. Lord, I thank you for the words that you speak. They are spirit and they are life. And tonight, in the name of Jesus, we release life into this physical body. Lord, I thank you for life and life more abundantly. Lord, I thank you for your life. I thank you for what you did on the cross. For what you did on the cross, you did for this woman. Lord, I thank you that you canceled out death, hell, and the grave. Lord, I thank you that you canceled out every spirit and cell of cancer. Lord, you said that every name must bow to the name of Jesus. Tonight, we take authority over the name of cancer, and we command it to leave this woman's body. Lord, I thank you for the radiation of the Holy Spirit. I thank Thank you for the light of the gospel flowing in the cells of her body. I thank you for illuminating fire flowing through this woman's body right now going up through her legs, going up through her body right now, I thank you, going up through her waist, going up right through her, into her chest, right into her physical body, through her arms, in the name of Jesus, every cell of cancer, I command you to die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, dry up, and Lord, I thank you for a miracle, Lord, I thank you that when she goes to the doctors, they will see something has changed, they will see something different different in the name of the Lord.
Let's pray right now even for a creative miracle in this body. Oh, I, I just, I literally feel the fire. Of, do you feel that going? I mean, I feel the fire of God I, in my hand right now. Just, do you feel a little shaky? Okay. Whew. Do what no doctor can do, Lord. Let this be a miraculous testimony of your mercy, your grace, your goodness, God. Feeling the fire of God. <clears throat> Just increase it right now. <sighs> Did you come in here tonight with pain? No pain? Okay. Is she feeling, do you feel pretty good right now? Monday you go. Okay. I feel like God did something. Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll just wait for the confirmation, right? Amen. Can I have a hug? Okay. Okay. I didn't know I did okay. Pain. No, no, you're fine. You have you have pain in that area right now. Yeah, I know. It's just something happened to my head. It got started here at my arm. Mm-hmm. My whole side, but it was never weeks ago or anything. Okay. So I just had some pain in this back. Okay. No one responded. No, so it's good that you're up here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No, you're. Yeah, just lift your hands. Yeah, just close your eyes. <laughs> Lord, I just thank you for her obedience just to respond. Lord, she just stepped into that because she was hungry. Lord, I just thank you right now. Ooh, you just, you just, uh, Lord, I thank you. You're just touching this left side but even issues like for 18 years. Lord, I just thank you for these issues even in her body in the name of Jesus. Touching those as well, healing those. Makes sense to you? Yeah. So Lord, I thank you for the power of God touching this issue right now. In the pain before? Kind of. Okay, move it around now and see if it's good. See if it's yeah. changed. <laughs> Feel a little bit better. Feel happy. <laughs> you have problems with your feet too? Sometimes? Yeah? Okay. We'll just give her a drink tonight. <laughs> yeah. In the name of Jesus. Bless her right now. Go check it out. Test it. See what happens. Feeling. Feeling good. 
Okay. Bless you. Yes. Hallelujah. What's up? Okay. Let's pray for her right now. What's her name? Melanie. Melanie. Lord, I thank you for Melanie right now. Lord, we thank you for reversing it in the name of Jesus. Come on, just lift up your voice real quick. We such an awesome presence here tonight. Let's just take advantage of what's here. Lord, we just thank you for your presence. Your miracle presence in the meeting right now, going to this girl in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, for a testimony of healing. I thank you for a testimony of miracle power flowing into her in the name of Jesus Christ. Whew. We just release it now. Is this camera on? We just release it right now in Jesus' name healing power, virtue of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I thank you that there's no distance in the realm of the Spirit. And I just ask you, Lord, that you would step into the miraculous power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you for this girl that she lives and moves and has her being inside of Christ. Lord, I thank you I thank you and I ask you for even visitations in the night, dreams and visions for this girl. Lord, I thank you for heavenly visitations. Lord, catch her up into heaven. Show her the heavenly dimensions. Lord, I thank you for recalibrating her blood. I thank you for recalibrating her physical body through the visitation of Jesus Christ. What's going on? Okay. 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 You feel the fire. It feels beautiful. How long have you had pain there for? Since 2010, you've had pain there? Because of a motorcycle accident? Your whole left side. Isn't it awesome? What God, not the motorcycle accident, <laughs> but what God's doing right now? It's like incredible that I could, that I could totally, that I could totally botch the word of knowledge, yet God like just came through. Tell the people what it feels like. My back is in completely on fire, and it's such a beautiful feeling. And it's because I've never felt this way. 2010, I got into a motorcycle accident, and it affected my whole left side. And look. When was the last time you were able to lift your arm like that? 2009. 2009. Do, do, just lift your arm right now. Hey, ho, hey, ho. Wow. And, and, and your back was in pain before tonight? I mean, it's been since 2010? How, how, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad was it? 100. 100. Well, that wasn't even on the scale of 1 to 10. Okay. Can you bend for me at all? Oh, my goodness.
Where are you from? Bremerton. Well, how far? Is that pretty close? Wow. Have you ever been here before? Never. You've never even heard of me. You heard of Jesus, though, right? Come on. Is this the first time you've ever came here? What's that? Yes. You've never been in here before? Never. What made you come here? I mean, did you just, how did you hear? The guy, the, the guy right there. Who's he to you? He's your friend. He's like a brother to you. Wow. Have you been here before? Oh, oh, oh. Well, come up here and get, 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 get. She's happy. Hallelujah. Well, what was, what was, what, and you brought her. Are you the guy that, e that emailed the ministry about like coming and being my bodyguard everywhere? Let, let's test, te just test it out real quick. Walk in front of me, just like you're. I like you. Wow. You, it, are you guys seeing this? Come here, let me pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. Just like a good, just Holy Ghost. Just. I can feel it, that tonight's going to be a good night, that tonight's going to be a good, good night. Ooh. Hallelujah. Wow, that's so good. That's so good. What I love about Jesus is I can totally miss it, and he's and it's like. <laughs> oh, just lift your hands tonight. Just have a drink. receive it. If you came here tonight for a miracle, just receive right now. Just, just, just have it right now. 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 In fact, some you just get up and just run. You just get it right now. Just, <laughs> Lord, just release it. Just release it. Just release it. Just release it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Phew. Let me pray for the interns real quick. I, I promised that I would do that. So just come real quick, fast. Like fast, like if you really want it, you'll come. Yeah, yeah, just stop right there. Yeah, yeah, just lift your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, just let the fire just come on them. Just let the glory begin to increase. Father, I thank you for the fog, the fire, the uh, oil, the glory. Lord, I thank you for the supernatural. I thank you for the mystical realm. I thank you for the heavens being opened. I thank you for the visitation. I thank you for the Hebrews 12. I thank you for the Hebrews 11 and 12, Lord. I thank you for the surrounding of the, of the cloud of witnesses. 
is. And Lord, I thank you for visitation, but I thank you more for habitation. So Lord, I just, in the name of Jesus, just release this an impartation tonight for them. Lord, especially for her. Whoa! I've known her for a long time. So Lord, this for, ha. That's for the cedars of Lebanon just went down. This is a... It's like the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars. Lord, tonight in the name of Jesus, I prophesy over this girl that her voice will be like thunder, that it will break the cedars. Lord, tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for changing her voice. I thank you for putting a voice on the inside of her. Release the fire, the fire, the fire, and the lightnings of God. The lightnings, the lightnings, the lightnings, and the fire. And Lord, Lord, make her voice like thunder that when she preaches, let the fire break the cedars of Lebanon. Lord, I thank you that she'll go into Lebanon and break the cedars, break the spirit of religion, tradition, in the name of Jesus. Whoa! Just take that right now. Power in Jesus' name. Whoa! Have a drink. Lord, I thank you that she's going to break the back of the enemy. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. That's pretty good. Lord, thank you for... Thank you for Australia, mate. Watching online tonight, just right now, in Jesus' name, just have a drink. Are you happy tonight? <laughs> Feels pretty good. <laughs> oh, hold on. How's that feel? <laughs> Is that good? This is a pretty good night, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Lord bless her. Okay, do you know how to say miracle worker in Nigerian? <laughs> yeah, Google it real quick for me.
lift your hands one more time tonight. Just promise I'm going to preach something before 12 o'clock. What? Isha Iyanu. That's miracle worker. How, how does he, how do you say it again? Isha Iyanu. That's Nigerian for miracle worker. Okay. <laughs> say it. One, <laughs> say it one more time. A miracle worker is what? Ishi Anu. Ishi, Ishi Anu. Ishi Anu. That's miracle worker. That's what you are. <laughs> if I was an Afro right now, I would pray in tongues like this. But I'm in Seattle tonight. Look at your neighbor and say, sit on me. Sit on me, Holy Ghost. Look at your neighbor. <laughs> Sit on me, Holy Ghost. Yes. Look at your other neighbor and say, Sit on me, Jesus. Can I preach to you a little bit tonight? Before we lay hands on everything that moves in here twice. Turn with me to the book of Ephesians. I, I want to just minister something that's in my spirit tonight. Ruling from heavenly places. This is something that's in my spirit tonight that I just want to release. Ephesians, the book of Ephesians. This is a book that Paul wrote to the Ephesus church. Ephesus was the epicenter for witchcraft, sorcery, and all demonic things. And Paul the Apostle went to Ephesus and began to preach the gospel. And he wasn't supported, so he had to get a side job. He had to get a side job, and his side job was making tents. He would make tents during the day, and then he would go preach the gospel. He would even go to the theological, you know, mystical kind of centers and would speak about Jesus daily. In the, um, I, the school of uh, theanthropists, or excuse me tonight, I'm just a little drunk, so <laughs> just follow me. Look it up later. He would preach the gospel, and he would try to talk with him. He was there for three and a half years. And this is in the book of Acts chapter 19 verse 11 that as he was working a secular job paying for his preaching the Bible says that he was sweating from sweatbands and his disciples, the guys that were kind of following him got an idea that they would take the bands that he was using take them to people that were sick, that were afflicted, that were hurting, that were demon-possessed. And these sweatbands would heal the sick. The Bible says that there were diverse special miracles. Say special miracles. special miracles. 
unique miracles that were coming out of the Apostle Paul. They're, these were kind of different miracles that they had never seen before. I mean, they'd never seen somebody take a piece of clothing to someone that was sick and then get healed. When the cloth would come in, the demon would just start screaming out. It wouldn't even be Paul himself that was coming. It was just a piece of his clothing. Mm. Imagine having so much authority that your sweat molecules get off on a piece of cloth and when they show up in someone's home, the devil goes, my God, that sweat. <laughs> Imagine your sweat driving out devils. Selah. So Paul begins to write this letter and in, in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 he says, Blessed be the God of our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. This word spiritual is a post-Pentecost word. That means that this word here that Paul was using was not used prior to Acts chapter 2 when the fire fell. That, this means that this dimension, this spiritual blessing, was not available to any other generation. That this spiritual blessing, this spiritual blessing that Paul was speaking of, could not be attained before the upper room experience. That every generation before the upper room was unable to tap into that room. They were unable to tap into that dimension of spiritual blessing. Oh, Jesus. Paul said, but you have been blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. The word heavenly places means sanctuaries, heavenly temple, or heavenly regions. Do you know that there's regions in heavenly realms? And you can not just have the ability to travel there, but you can become a ruler of that place. That there are rooms and places in heaven that God wants you to become a ruler on. A dimension of power, a region, a sphere of supernatural influence that you don't just walk in there one day and just have an experience and then never experience it or never see it again. But Paul said that we've been blessed in the realm of the spirit with a spiritual blessing that was unattainable by any generation prior but has now been given to us and we have the ability to live in the place and occupy a space in the spirit there are things that people have carved out in the realm of the spirit that they carry with themselves. A dimension of authority and power that has been given has been given to people who realized that they had been given a spiritual blessing in a heavenly place. And the Bible says, and I got to kind of move quickly because I want to pray for everybody tonight. But study this out for yourself. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 says that no eye is seen, no ear is heard, and hasn't even entered in the heart the things which God has prepared for those that love Him. 
Do you know that there are rooms, listen to me tonight, there are rooms and heavenly places that have never been seen. There are realms and dimensions in heavenly places that no person has ever been a ruler in. There are regions in heaven that are waiting for you to take authority and dominion and rest in that place. Jesus said in John 14, verse 2, He said, I go to prepare a place for you. There are many, there are many mansions and many places. He said, if there was not, I would not have told you. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. Do you know that there are places prepared for you? And God wants you to be a ruler of that place. To have dominion in that space. To do things that others have never done. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going to be a pioneer. If you're going to be a pioneer, you got to be willing to take the heat for doing something that has never been done. He has a bucket. He's got a bucket. <laughs> there are times that we find in even the Bible where people did things that had never been done before. For example, Moses, when he spoke to a burning bush, no one had ever been on the backside of a desert and suddenly a bush caught on fire and they started speaking to the bush. There are things that God has prepared for you that no one has ever experienced and has never seen before. There are dimensions and things that you have no grid for and neither does anybody else. Moses is on the backside of a desert and suddenly a bush begins to burn. And God begins to speak out of the bush and says, I'm going to use you to deliver all these people. There had never been anywhere else. He had no paradigm. He had, no, he had nothing, no grid, nothing to go by. Abraham never seen a burning bush. He had never heard uh, any, anybody in his family line and never had heard through human history that ever there was a burning bush and a voice speaking out of burning bush and telling him, I've anointed you to deliver an entire people. People. Sometimes God will speak things to you that seem so impossible, things that no eye has seen, no ears heard, and hasn't even entered into your heart, but God has already prepared those things because you have loved Him, because love is the key that opens up the supernatural dimension so that you can begin to walk in it, you can begin to live in it. Nobody's seen it before, they've never been in this place. But God wants you to occupy that space. They get to a, they get to a, the, 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 the Red Sea. Here he is, Moses. God speaks a word. Says, put your rod out and I'm going to part the sea. No one had ever done that before. They had never parted the sea. He stretches out it. They walk over on dry ground. It's one thing to be a pioneer. And do something that somebody has never seen before. That's what God has called this generation to do. 
We can do things that we've seen before. Joshua saw the parting of the Red Sea. It gave him faith to do it to the Jordan. But then God said to him, you know what, son? I don't want you just to look to the past, to what has already been done. I want you to pioneer something new. So speak to the sun and stop it. God will cause you to enter into a place where by faith you begin to step out and do things and occupy spaces in the spirit realm and press beyond what people feel comfortable about doing. How are we ever going to do the impossible if we don't step out of the boat and just try to walk on the water. We live in a time period where it's like everybody wants to play it safe. And I'm asking, how are you going to change a generation by playing it safe when God called you to step out of the boat, listen to His voice, and do the impossible? It may not feel comfortable. It may not feel like what, you might get, unco- you, you get uncomfortable because nobody has done it before. There's no grid. God wants you to go off the grid. He wants, you to, he, he wants you to get rid of the patterns of the past and say there's time, it's got to be something new. We've got to press into the more. There has to be something that's deeper than what we've seen before. If, if, if this is the level that we're at, God, I want to increase it. Can I preach it like I'm feeling it tonight? I'm doing the best I can. (laughs) This is my favorite church on the whole entire planet. God wants us to press beyond the place that we've been into uncharted territories in the spirit. Un- Look at your neighbor and say uncharted territories. Uncharted waters. Scriptures that have never been explored. Things that have never been done. Layers of revelation just begin to unravel and you begin to see it in a different light. You go, is it possible that this is what, this is that, that we've been, we've been casting, cashing in on this low level of spirituality when God has something greater for us? Like if everybody's giving general words, prophetic words, and that's what's, I mean, I honor that. I, I, it's awesome. But what would happen if you just pressed in a little bit deeper and you said, you know what? I've lost my reputation a long time ago.
And I really believe that God spoke this word to me. No matter what anybody says, I'm going to just go ahead and deliver it. Even if, even if, even if it ruffles the feathers of others and they say, no, 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 everybody's here. They're doing this. So just stay here. And you're saying, no, 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 I can't stay there any longer because God wants to do something new. It, it, I can't stay in a place. I got to find a new space. I, I got to find a new place. I got to press beyond where I've been. I got to go into the deep waters. Even it, even if people don't understand, they've never seen it before. They've never seen a burning bush before. They've never heard that, that kind of encounter. I got to press beyond the status quo and what people believe is possible in Christianity. Slap your neighbor high five. <laughs> Tell them God has prepared a place for them. Isaiah 22, 22 says, In the key of the house of David, I will lay upon his shoulders so that he shall open and none shall shut. He shall shut and none shall open. Verse 23, I will fasten him as a nail in a sure place. And he shall be for a glorious throne to his father's house. God wants to make you a throne in the father's house. He wants you to become a ruler in a spiritual dimension so that you can mirror that dimension on the earth. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit will cause you to open up an uncharted door, walk through that place, and not just look around and say, well, I've been here before, and just leave. But you... Walk through that door and say, I'm going to set up. I'm going to press in. I'm going to allow God to build me a throne in this space. So that everywhere that I go on the earth, people will recognize that I'm living in a heavenly room. What rooms do you want to live in? What kind of places do you want to explore? What kind of regions in heaven? It's interesting to think that Ephesus was the epicenter of all spirituality in psychic and psychophenomena and mysticism. Yet Paul is saying, God has made you and giving you, given you a spiritual blessing in heavenly places and you have been given that place and all these temples that are all around you in everyday life are in no comparison to the temple that God has made you to be and Christ in you the hope of glory Arobashata. His nature, His character, His dominion and power and authority is living on the inside of you. And those rooms are resting on the inside. And they want to get out. These spiritual places that you've been blessed with, it's time to open the door to. 
People hide behind closed doors. God wants you to open up the doors and release the power. I believe the Lord is raising up a generation to walk together in a spirit of unity and power and whole, we'll see whole regions taken. Whole regions taken and a countercultural movement that takes place not because we strategize around a round table but because we live in a heavenly place. I get to meet a president not because I can maneuver my way in and strategize to try to figure out how I can get five minutes. No, I get the meeting with the president because they see something of authority and dominion and a heavenly sphere that's operating around the person. And they say, you know what? There's something about this person that I just have to get, bring them. Listen to me. In the 1960s, William Branham went and visited with the King of England not because somebody opened a door for him through a back channel to try to get him in there so he could give a word to the king. No, the King of England was sick and he had heard of a man that operated with an angel. The King of England and said, do you think that before he goes to South Africa he could just make a trip here and I'll meet with him? So he flew to England to meet with the king, prayed for him, and God instantly healed him. Then he got on a plane and flew to South Africa. I'm just... I'm just saying... Here Paul is in Ephesus, working, building tents, and he gets a revelation. In the natural, he's sitting there, forming tents, and he says, wait a minute, actually, this parallels into the spirit, because I'm building in the spirit realm, a space. And I'm taking dominion over that place. I'm manifesting it on the earth. And he's thinking this. And as he's thinking this, the sweat from his physical body, the genetical uh, you know, fibers from his body are flowing onto a cloth. And no eye is ever seen, no ear is ever heard, and hasn't even entered into Paul's heart the thing that God has prepared that he is going to enter into just because he made space and a place for God to move in his life. And suddenly, people got an idea that clothes could cast out devils and heal the sick. What will God do with your life? What will God do with you that no one has ever seen before? What kind of heavenly dimensions are available that God wants you to enter into that may cause persecution, may cause people to not understand you, may cause a little bit of turmoil in the natural But what are you pressing into? What are we pressing into as a generation is my question. I love what we've seen in the past. But there's got to be something that cannot be strategized, that cannot be planned out, that has to be supernaturally spontaneous, spoken from the Word and the, the very mouth of God to a generation that says... If you believe this word, you can step into it. 
that nothing is impossible to them that believe. If you believe my word, you will enter into that very manifestation. If I say it to you, it doesn't matter if it's ever been done before. Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of his mouth. My words that I speak unto you are spirit in their life. There's something about when God gives you a word and he speaks it to you that nothing can stop it. Nothing. Because God gave it to you. It's time to carve out space in the heavenly realm. What do you think we're doing here? What do you think we're doing here? We're carving out a space in this region that people say, well, you know, this place, if you go this place, miracles, signs, wonders, glory, prophetic, supernatural. While everybody's pulling back, seeker sensitive, don't offend. Don't, don't do anything that would rock the boat. <laughs> Going beyond. Pressing beyond. Moving beyond. Going into the place. Let's lift our hands tonight. Whew. Lord, tonight I'm asking you to burn in people's hearts a desire a fire, a passion to move beyond the status quo, the norm, what's acceptable. Lord, tonight in this place, there are pioneers. There are those that are going to enter into the Father's house. They're going to set up and live in rooms and take dominion. There are people that are here tonight that are going to begin to manifest the nature, the character, and the supernatural power of Jesus Christ. There are people in this meeting tonight that will change history. There are miracle workers. There are supernatural glory carriers. There are those that... God has prepared a space for, a place of dominion and authority and power. There are people in this place tonight that came here one way, but they're going to leave a different way. That people came to this meeting tonight, even this whole week, Lord. This is not, let me tell you something, there is something different on this camp meeting. This isn't like normal meetings. There, I, I felt it all this week. I, I, I've been refreshed myself. There is, a, there is a supernatural presence in spirit of life that is being released in this place. That you can dream the impossible. And it's going to manifest. That you can walk into what God has called you to do. And see those things manifest. It's not too late. You're not too old. You're not too young. You didn't miss it. You're right on time. You're, you're, you're not weird. You're not abnormal. You're normal. You're not strange. You're normal. 
you're naturally supernatural. I'm telling you. In an hour right now that we're living in, where people are pulling back, God's saying it's time to press in. All I know is this. I'm just a simple guy. I just read the Bible. And I just believe it. I don't have the most eloquent sermons. Usually all over the place. All I know is, the Bible says that if we seek God and we ask Him for bread, He's not going to give us a serpent. So how far can we press in to the heavenly places and how much can we manifest Christ through our physical bodies because Je Jesus wants to shine through us. He said that you are a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Paul said that Christ would be magnified in His physical body. How much can we magnify and Christ in our physical being? How long can we press into a spiritual dimension until that spiritual dimension begins to manifest through us where it's impossible for people not to see that we're carrying something different than everybody else? You are not, you are not just a church member. You are a part of a body of Jesus Christ. You are a member in particular. You carry a specific part inside of the body that without you, it cannot fully function. God's waiting for you to take your place in your space in the heavenly dimension and rise up. I'm telling you, for generation after generation, there has been prophecies of the army of God from things that, that in Argentina where the giant stood up and people prophesied to Bob Jones talking about the giant. I'm telling you, in the name of Jesus Christ, it is a season and a time where we need to stand up as the body of Jesus Christ and manifest his glory you can't strategize that darling you can't figure that out from a round table that only comes from taking space and manifesting the heavenly realms through intimacy with Jesus Christ I'm not saying that we're not going to strategize. I'm not saying that we can't try to figure it out. I'm not saying that, there, that, that, that we don't understand leadership and all these things. But at the end of the day, Hallelujah. at the end of the day, we have to recognize that it is our responsibility to step into the space and say, God, fill this place. Let's lift our hands tonight. Lord, woof. I thank you tonight. All this week, we've just been blessing your name. Here we are again, Lord. Father, I pray for a, a just tonight. Lord, as I do, just release the power and presence of Jesus in this room. Even through the laying on of hands. Lord, I thank you for the blessing of the firstborn. The blessing of the firstborn is the blessing of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ was the firstborn of many brethren. Father, I thank you that tonight there's an impartation of the manifestation of Jesus Christ. That, Lord, as, the, as we lay hands tonight and we pray over your people, that, Lord, there would be a blessing and a transference of supernatural power. Lord, that you would open the eyes of our heart. Open the eyes of our heart to see the hope and the calling which you have set before us. Lord, I'm praying for a spirit of wisdom and revelation to be released here tonight. 
Lord, that we would not look to others to try to mimic what they do, to try to look like what they do. No, God, we, you have created us as unique and individually supernatural to manifest characteristics of your spirit that no other person has and no other person has ever done. Lord, you have made us unique in you. Father, tonight I'm asking for a spirit of boldness to come over your people. A spirit of power and fire to come upon them. Lord, that tonight you would release the fog of God. The fire, the oil, and the glory. Lord, I'm asking you tonight for the fire, the oil, and the glory to be released in this place. Lord, out of this house, let revivalists rise. Out of this house, let miracle workers come. Out of this place, let signs and wonders come out of your people. Lord, you said that these signs shall follow them that believe. They're going to cast out devils. They're going to heal the sick. They're going to move in supernatural power. Lord, I thank you for the dead being raised. I thank you for the, for the sick being healed. I thank you for the cripples walking. God, I thank you for the gospel being preached. Lord, tonight as we drink the cup of Jesus Christ that cup of glory the bread and the wine and heavenly places fellowship in the spirit man guys I feel something just special here tonight like uh, this Lord we, we thank you for a special just impartation I, I just feel like there's going to be people that are going to come out of this place that in years to come they'll say I was in that meeting the fire the oil and the glory hit me I was never the same I couldn't stay silent anymore. I had to preach the gospel. I went to the nations. I saw the dead raised. I began. I, I, I went into a region where nobody was preaching. I pioneered a church. I, I, I raised up. I raised up a city in in the midst of of darkness. I raised up and I illuminated the light of Jesus Christ. I I, I, I didn't love my life unto death. I laid my life down I, I, burned, I burned for the cross and the spirit of God I, I gave my life for the gospel there's people that are in this place tonight people that are in this place you go back to your, your nation some of you will be sent to different countries you're going to go and preach the gospel I'm telling you from this place even from this church this church has a legacy in it there is a foundation that has been set for generations and the foundation is already laid and now there's a springing forth I prophesy over this school, even this school, this Bible school, this school of the Spirit, that there will be miracle workers, there will be those that will go into nations. Father, I thank you for pioneers coming out of this place. If you want hands laid on you tonight, and just, just line up, move around the building. I want to pray for you. sorry this wasn't the most eloquent sermon that I could have preached tonight I'm just sharing my heart with you something is something is burning in me that God's calling us a generation to move past move past and we're going to cheer each other on when we step into dimensions that no eye has seen no ear has heard I want to hear about people moving into crazy words of knowledge and people from just moving into to, 
manifesting Jesus and going to regions and lighting fires and revivals. We need, we need as much room in, in between you as possible. I know this is a little tight, but if you can, give yourself some space. Give yourself a chicken wing on your right side and just make sure you've got some room. Um, if you're too close, move, move down. Move closer to the wall. We need you as close to the wall as possible. So if you, if you uh, want to s- step forward here, you guys need to come forward. Look, look behind you. Make sure you're, you're fairly close to the wall. Give Charlie enough room to get around behind you and make sure you don't have chairs right behind you. We don't want anyone bumping their head. No accidents. Um, you guys here, keep keep moving down. Anyone not catching, find, find the most open place that you can find. We need you to have as much room as possible. Keep Come, come forward a little bit. Let's lift our hands tonight. Just put your hands out. Holy Spirit, I ask you to fill these hands with fire. The fire, the oil, and the glory. Fire, the oil, and the glory even tonight. Let these hands burn. Let the oil come. Fire and glory Fire and glory Pour over me Fire and glory
bless you. God, I bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you.